Hello Caritos, today I want to show you how you can do well on your task ones. It's from IL6 test 3 task 1. The diagram below shows the the life cycle of the silkworm and the stage in the production of the silk. First of all, as usual, we're gonna paraphrase this one. introduction now, then we're gonna write an overall, then we're gonna uh, write body paragraph one, body paragraph two for this, and this one. All right, that's that was easy. Now I'll start without further ado. The diagram, diagrams, diagram, illustrate, illustrate, well, illustrate the silk, silk worm, silk worm's life cycle. I call and the steps steps in the production of silk clothes. Well, that's all about it. That That's basically the same meaning, just in a different way, in a different grammar and structure. And now I'm gonna write an overall for this one. Overall, and there are four steps. There are four steps in the silkworm. Silkworm's life cycle, life cycle, and the production of silk, uh, production of silk clothes, Production of silk clothes. Let's say just clothes or clothes. Consists consists of how many stages? Like it guess six stages. All right, six stages. Six stages. Uh, that's all about it. That we have an uh, overall for us, and it's basically that they're describing an overall view of this uh, this flowchart. And uh, that now we have a uh, introduction. Now we have our body here. Now sorry about this. Uh, we have our overall here. Now I'll start with the first body. So first I'm gonna start with this one. Then I'm gonna move to this one, right? So okay. And overall we finish it. Now we start initially. Sorry about this here. Initially. Initially, the female. Female moth lays eggs on the mulberry tree, mulberry leaves, mulberry leaves, and larvae, larvae, larvae are larvae are produced, produced. So after after 10 days so I'll start this this one now it's produced in 10 days and I'll talk about this process overall view here so then lava produced after 10 days okay lava 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 are feed fed on mulberry mulberry leaves by their by their mom and after four and six weeks six weeks silk thread thread is created silk thread is created from the lava lava and then a cocoon is produced after three to eight three to eight days all right finally finally the creation of the moth completes completes the final stage of the life cycle okay here so so basically i started with laying egg as you can see number one in the 10 days it becomes his here in the second one and the third and the fourth and the fifth as you can see it became a moth again all right now we move to this one here so let's get started with writing again the second diagram the second diagram second diagram delineates needs delineates that silk production starts starts by selecting selecting silk 
threads fill threads and it is boiled boiled in water in the second in the second stage in the second stage the next stage is unwinding 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 the boiled threads threads and then the threads are twisted twisted and tied before they are fevered to silks finally the last three steps uh, steps repeat repeat once repeat once uh, for quality well that's it we described it uh, totally that now we have finished this one and then we didn't finish it this one we approached in this direction now we have this one already so if you have any questions you can leave in the comments i'll be more than glad to answer your, your any questions because uh describing this ones are really simple all you have to use is just a passive passive voice you have to be very careful with using a passive voice because most of the people use like a uh, active but here we have to use a passive like this process is like uh, we should say like uh, water is boiled and uh, some stuff like people instead of doing using active words active words sorry about this and uh, yeah we have to check our grammar properly otherwise we can end up making a lot of tons of mistakes while writing this ones so as you can see that while writing this one i use a lot of passives here are produced and uh, Love up fed and this kind of stuff. But, uh, well, I want you to check again one more time about your grammar because all they check is your grammar and vocabulary properly. And the task, of course, that's courtesy. Task response plays crucial as well. But if you don't have a correct grammar, it is, they will have they are more likely to have a hard time to understand what you're talking about. That's the reason I encourage you to check your grammar again. So if you have any problems with grammar, check it. I highly recommend the book. Uh, English grammar in use in whether it be elementary, intermediate, or advanced level, gotta pick this book up and read it continuously. And for vocabulary, if you don't have vocabulary, there's no way you can pass the exam. Just trust me. Thanks so much for watching. As always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.